Hi everybody, Maggie Massey here for Heidi Swap. Today I'm going to show you something really fun you can do with your mink machine. I know you've probably all seen already the demonstrations on how the mink works, but we're going to take um, our decorating with the mink just one step further. I want to show you what I've already done. This was a piece of pre-printed paper that came in a six by six pack that Heidi sells and I have put it through the mink already with a piece of silver foil. You can see all the stars on there are now covered with silver. Uh, when it was first right out of the package all those little stars were black and I covered them all with silver foil. So after I did that this is what I ended up with. A piece of foil that is still mainly silver with all the little stars taken out of it there. Maybe you can see it better if it's on the white. So all these little stars now have been removed from the silver foil. Well, that's pretty awesome pattern by itself, right? So let's see if we can do something with just this. I am going to take these 3D flowers that Heidi sells to go along with the mink machine these are all little cutouts of flowers. They come just like this. And you can build your own 3D flowers. You'll see all these are black and white and wherever it's black, that is what's going to accept the foil. So she's got them all right, ready for you to build. These are some that I've already punched out. And I am going to see if we can put little stars on our flowers. So I have my transfer folder right here. I've actually cut this one down to a approximately a six by six size. Um, the mink does take a little time to work, so the smaller the folder you're using, the faster it will go through. When I'm just using tiny little embellishments like this, I don't, I don't like to wait for a whole 12 by 12 folder to go through. So I just use six by six, and I'm going to put my little flowers in here. And then I'm going to take my star negative, put it right on top of these flowers, right like that, making sure that all of my flower is covered. You don't want any of the black to be showing. We want it all covered by foil. Now, if some of the black is showing, please make care, or, if any of the, excuse me, if any of the black is showing, you want to take care to make sure that it is completely covered because um, the toner, which is what makes the black color, will transfer onto your folder and it um, could ruin other projects, it could ruin the folder. Just make sure that all the black is covered. So we have this, we're good, we're ready, we're going to put it through the make machine and see what happens. Okay, I've just taken this out of the back of the mink and I'm going to take the foil off. Ooh, and here we go. Look at now. This is what our foil looks like. We have taken all the parts of the flower that were black, covered them with our silver foil, except for the places where the stars had already been removed. So what that leaves us with are silver flowers with black stars on them now. So now what do you think we can do with this? We'll cover it with another color of foil, right? Because we still have some toner showing, we can go ahead and cover this with more foil. Let's use hot pink for this. Now, as long as there is toner showing, you can continue to foil on top of that. The parts that have already been foiled will not accept foil again. So it's okay for us to go ahead and put another color right on top. Oh, and see I've got some toner showing there, which we do not want. So I'm going to make sure I get that covered. And again, right here. Okay. And it's really okay if that tiny little piece is sticking out. There's nothing black showing on there. I do want to make sure I get 
all of the noticeable wrinkles out. Okay, let's see what happens now. Okay, now we've run these flowers through the machine a second time. The first time we transferred all the silver foil except for the stars onto the flowers. And now we've run it through with the hot pink again. And now, oh yeah, we've got silver flowers with heart, excuse me, hot pink stars. Pretty cool, huh? Now we can go ahead and build our flower just like this. You can do this with any other designs. There are other flowers. As long as you have a lot of black space, this is a fun technique to try. I don't think that it would show up quite as well on flowers like this. Again, only the black is what's going to accept the foil. So you might not see as good um, as good a design on these. Now, Heidi does sell sheets of just plain toner paper, which are fantastic because then you can create your own designs. Um, you can punch them out, you can uh, cut them with your silhouette, you can cut them, make them into words, and use those to foil exactly how you want to. One, two, three colors, depending on how you want to layer up your foil and you can create really, really neat, unique designs and patterns on anything that you have. Thank you so much. I hope you guys are inspired to try something new. And if you have any projects using the Mink Machine, we'd love to see them. Post your products and tag them, um, hashtag HSMink. Thanks so much for watching. See you guys next time. Bye-bye.